Amatai Etzioni gave us the three types of power that organizations can wield. And we looked at that in an earlier video. But where does that power come from? Robin Fincham, a British academic, looked at the three levels from which organizational power emanates. And we're going to look at that in this video. Fincham's first level was the organizational level. Organizations have their own structures and hierarchies and power systems. And these work together to create the dominant culture and rule set. And it's these rules and the culture within which they sit that allow the organization to exert either coercive, remunerative, or normative power. Crucially, within many organizations, the people with the power are the ones that choose their own successors, thereby perpetuating the existing power structures. This is sometimes known as a self-perpetuating oligarchy. The tools that an organization uses to exert power are its rules, its regulations, its policies, its processes, its procedures, control of information and access to resources. Things like pay and remuneration and promotion are all within the control of the organization and therefore the means by which it exerts power. Above the organization is society. And this gives rise to Fincham's institutional level from which power arises. Organizations sit within a wider society. And this is where we get our sense of organizations as entities in their own right. As a result, the power that organizations have could be seen to arise from the wider social and economic structures within society. We also see the people who run the organizations, the managers and executives and directors, as agents of that society and agents of that society who have a significant status within our society. That status, again, grants them power and therefore the organization within which they work. So when an organization or more accurately, the managers and directors within the organization exert power, they are exerting a power that is devolved down to it from society. They are borrowing from the wider societal norms of how power works. In a sense, we all give organizations their power as members of the society that hosts them. Within an organization are people, and this gives us Fincham's processual level of organizational power. Here, power arises from the interactions between the people within the organization. It's all about the process by which people interact. The relationships between the people give rise to a constant stream of social interactions. Each interaction exerts an element of that individual's power, and it does so in the service of the organization within which the individual works. This is small p politics, the micro politics that goes on day to day within the organization, the influencing, the cajoling, the persuading, the negotiating, the conflict management, the guidance and the support that happens between the people within the organization. This, of course, has positive, neutral and negative connotations. The positive results are constructive competition and productive alliances between individuals within the organization. And the neutral consequences are, of course, rule enforcement, which can be for good or for ill. And there are negative consequences as well, like dominance and abuse, anything from low level manipulation to outright bullying. This people dimension will be the kicking off point for some of our later videos in this series when we look at the social power bases and in particular the model of French and Raven. 
But for now, I want you to remember one simple fact. Organizations get their power in three ways. They get it internally from the structures and the culture of the organization. They get it externally from the society within which they sit. And they get it from a combination of the interactions among the people within the organization. Please do give a thumbs up if you like this video. There's loads more great management courses content to come, so please do subscribe to our channel and hit the bell so you don't miss any of it. I look forward to seeing you in the next video, and in the meantime, keep learning.